In China, two huge explosions at one of the world's biggest shipping ports have left dozens of people dead. It happened in Tianjin in the country's northeast. More than 500 others were injured in the blasts. A warehouse storing a shipment of explosive materials was the source of the explosion. Entire buildings were destroyed and hundreds of parked cars were incinerated. The explosions rattled the ground like earthquakes and were felt many kilometres away. China correspondent Hui Fen Tei reports from the port city of Tianjin. Residents had already been woken up by a massive blast and fire at 11.30 p.m. Then this. A much larger explosion and a terrifying ball of flame. The shockwave felt like an earthquake. It was picked up on seismographs and estimated to have a force equivalent to 21 tons of TNT. The state news agency says the explosions were in a warehouse storing dangerous materials. The fire that followed spread further destruction. Residents within a 10-kilometer radius of the site were evacuated. Hundreds of people were taken to the hospital. Firefighters sent in to contain the blaze are among the casualties. Some victims were suffering from burns, others hit by flying debris or trapped in collapsing buildings. We saw fire but didn't expect the explosions. I was actually quite far away from the site. I was working at a factory security booth. It was destroyed completely. Daylight revealed the carnage caused by this disaster. It's expected the death toll will continue to rise as rescue workers pick their way through the wreckage. The firefighting effort has been suspended, with authorities still unsure what dangerous materials remain in the burning debris. Black smoke is still rising from the site, even though it's been more than 12 hours since the explosions happened. All roads leading to the scene have been sealed off and people are being advised to leave for their own safety because of concerns there may be more explosions. Chinese leaders have ordered a thorough investigation. Hui Fen Tei, ABC News, Tianjin.